Hey everybody, Joel Hansen here, and by very, very, very popular demand, we are going to do some Indian food today. So today we are outside, uh, that's right there, you can't see it, here's the other side, uh, Senai. So Senai is an Indian restaurant located in Hamilton, Ontario, and according to Google, this is one of the best Indian restaurants in Hamilton. And lucky enough for us, they do offer a lunch buffet seven days a week for only $12. I've heard it's quite small, however, we're not gonna go for like an overall volume. Let's go for a little bit of volume, but mostly a little bit of quality and quantity. Very excited to finally get to do something with Indian food, a little bit of an Indian food challenge. So let's go try everything they have to offer on that buffet table. Let's go enjoy it and let's eat some Indian food. This goes out to you, everybody in India and those who've been wanting me to eat some Indian food. So let's go. Hey everybody, welcome to today's video, as today we finally eat some Indian food. So this has been a long time coming, this has very popularly been requested, and I'm really glad to be able to do so, because honestly, I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this. Like, I will definitely be back. So I believe the proper pronunciation of the restaurant was Singai, or Singay. I'm not even going to try to pronounce a lot of the Indian foods because I know I'm just going to slaughter the, the pr proper pronunciation. So to start off, I had two dishes. I had butter chicken, which I was familiar with, and I had this other dish, which is like mat... I told you I wouldn't pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try. But it was, it's two words. There's an M and a P. And what was absolutely so interesting about this, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but the dish with all the peas in it, which is what I'm going to refer to it as, had cheese in it. Yes, that dish had cheese in it. And guess what? I thoroughly enjoyed it. It did not taste like cheese at all. In fact, I could have been told it was something like tofu or whatever, and I would have totally believed it. So the butter chicken was really nice, uh, obviously quite moist. It wasn't overly spicy which I believe is just kind of the way they would make it standardized for the vast majority of the general Canadian population, let's be honest. But I did really enjoy it. And of course they did have like hot sauce and stuff you could add. So here I am trying then the tandoori chicken. You see a little bit of a shish kebab thing there. And then that pea dish I really like with the cheese in it, I still can't believe I'm saying that, on top of salad. So I used it kind of like a salad dressing. They had about eight different uh, kind of hot dishes. Then they had one kind of dessert dish, which you'll see a little bit later on in the video. And then they had a very basic green salad. It was like iceberg lettuce with cucumbers, tomatoes, onions. So I tried the tandoori chicken. It was not bad. I wouldn't say uh, to this point it was the best dish I was tasting. Um, again, kind of a buffet. It is what it is but it was, uh, I'd say, not super, super like hot. Uh, if it was, I think, fresher, it would be a little bit better. Uh, but again, that kind of goes for everything. But the taste was quite nice. And you definitely got a very, let's say, barbecue taste from it, like a charcoal barbecue taste. There I just tried what was called a like chicken shish kebab, something, something like that, and it tasted good. No complaints there. Um, heading into this green salad, Again, pretty standard, but I'm going to talk a little bit more about that pea dish I really like. So it was just this really, really nice tasting dish, and I did look it up, and it's like, I don't know, like I'd say kind of like a tomato-ish base, but then there's like gram masala, it's like a very, I don't know how to describe it, but traditional kind of Indian spice. 
with peas and then this cheese, which is like a very kind of basic cheese, I guess. It's basically just curdled milk, um, making it, again, quite different from like a normal, I don't want to say normal, but different from a North American cheese, like a cheddar, etc. But, oh my gosh, just the flavors of it. It was had a little bit of this sweetness, just that nice like level of spice, and not like spicy spice, but just like a really nice, full mouth feel, delicious, flavorful spice. So really, really enjoyed that. Uh, I'll, I'll disclose it now. That was actually my favorite dish. And again, I can't believe I'm saying that because yes, my favorite dish I had there had cheese in it. Um, just the flavor of it. Oh man, it was so good. And like I said, it didn't taste like cheese at all. Like literally, again, I actually thought it was tofu at first. Then I kind of clued in. Um, then the butter chicken. I'd say that was my second favorite item I tried. The butter chicken, again, I kind of already talked about. Um, besides those two dishes, then again, I tried the chindori, tandoori chicken. I tried the shish kebab to this point. Of course, the salad was good. And I also had some uh, grilled vegetables, uh, which they had. They had kind of like a grilled eggplant dish. They had just generally grilled vegetables, um, which were good. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with grilled vegetables. The Here we go. There's my grilled vegetables. Grilled vegetables there with my pea dish on salad and more butter chicken. Um, so I was really enjoying all those flavors. Um, so the actual price of this restaurant at the lunch buffet was $12. And like I said, I will be back. So again, it's a very, very small place, small buffet, but $12, you can't beat it. And it was great. Um, I really did not intend to eat a lot. Uh, in fact, I purposely did not eat a lot. So I wasn't going to like crush the buffet. I was just going to get like a bit of a small meal and just for like satiation and enjoyment. Um, but I'm definitely going back. In fact, I'm debating going back ASAP. Uh, and the nice thing about this lunch buffet is it's actually seven days a week. So it's not even just like Monday to Friday, which a lot of lunch buffets are. It is seven days a week. So super awesome. This was during the week. And next time I go, I will try to do it on a weekend to see if the turnover of the items is a little bit more frequent. Perhaps some of the items I had that weren't exactly super duper hot would be a little hotter or maybe, uh, you know, like temperature hot or a little different. But I absolutely love that little pea dish, um, which again, I already said, but it was just exceptional. I think what was so cool is about this experience is I, I've had Indian food in the past. In fact, I've even made my own butter chicken, which I did really, really enjoy. But Indian food is not something I have very often or something that I would normally, I'd say, flock to or often buy or consider if I was going out to eat. So I remember somebody uh, at one point uh, mentioned or commented, gave me a question, such as like, you should go to a restaurant and try foods you've never tried before or something like that and that's kind of what this experience essentially kind of was again I've definitely had butter chicken before uh, but I've never had a lot of these little other dishes something I found very interesting too is um, although a lot of these dishes seem very um, I want to say quite light well let me rephrase that theoretically like if I think of just chicken and sauce um, or I think of you know peas and cheese in sauce I generally wouldn't think of like super, super, super high calories. Uh, with the Indian food, I did some math, did uh, like looked it up the calories of this general Indian foods and dishes. Is they're actually quite higher in calories than I would have expected. They just use quite a bit of oil in the preparation, and I'm not saying that's a bad thing because the oils um, and you know definitely adds to not only the textures, the smoothness helps you know cooking items like the vegetables the eggplants etc but definitely something that you know was kind of interesting to bring to light um, so you know going on a average day menu meal when I'm not kind of allowing myself to uh, splurge a little bit uh, just something that I would be a little bit I don't want to say cautious of but a little bit more cautious of 
Um, they did have rice, of course, in the buffet, but I didn't touch it. I mean, it would soak up the sauce and yeah, it would taste good, but I just wanted to focus more on the uh, vegetables and the two dishes that I was really enjoying. But again, I did try the other ones, like little bites of the eggplant dish, um, the tandoori chicken, and the uh, shish kebab. So the place itself, and I'll make sure I have a little clip uh, in the video, probably at the end of the video. Um, the restaurant was, again, very small, and the buffet was very small considerably. But what this video or this experience definitely would encourage me to do is, again, one, go back to this restaurant, but also to try and find, because there are a lot of other ones, uh, at least actually there's a few around Buffalo, interestingly enough, that's the only place I've really looked. I've actually been to a uh, Indian buffet in Toronto way back when, but I didn't eat that much. It was just kind of a quick bite. Uh, but I would definitely try a lot of other Indian foods, and I really look forward to trying some other Indian buffets. Like, again, I really enjoyed this don't want to say like a lot more than I was expecting but I just enjoyed it like way more than I would have thought uh, the lady that was working in is a very small restaurant they only had one server but like the restaurant probably has I don't know 15 tables um, she was nice she was excellent uh, again I didn't get any too well I don't think I got any super crazy looks because I was going pretty pretty light uh, for my standards at least and you know just kind of again emphasizing the water um, you know, I'm not trying to go too crazy for this meal. Uh, just enjoy it. And I really, really did. Uh, at that, I'm going to leave you to the video for now. I don't think there's anything else I want to mention. Oh, no, I'm totally lying. Um, we got dessert coming up. So, dessert. Um, so they have this little, I don't know what it's called. I'm not even going to, like, it's kind of like a grain which was kind of soaked in this sweet orange, I don't know if sauce is the right word, um, but it was, it was like, it, was, it wasn't bad. It wasn't like something I had that I was like, wow, that was exceptional, because uh, I really like the strong flavors. It wasn't like overly sweet. It wasn't overly savory. It was like a nice light dish. And I'll be honest, I don't know if I was eating that properly. Like, I'm not sure if you're supposed to have another item with it or put some naan bread or something with it. But I did enjoy it. Get more of those little shish kebab round things there. But with everybody, I'm going to let you get to the rest of the video. I hope you enjoy. Uh, really great experience overall. Uh, I'm going to give like a 10 out of 10 for value. I mean, 12 bucks. Like, how even on the weekend, 12 bucks. How can you go wrong? Of course, you know, after tax and tip, it's probably more, a little bit closer to like 20 bucks. But I'm fine with that. I really enjoyed it. Um, variety, eh, I'm going to give it like a five. I hate to say it. Um, that's the only like real critique I have of the restaurant. Because like the food, I put a 10 out of 10. The service was 10 out of 10. The value was 10 out of 10. But the variety is like a five out of 10. Maybe even like a four, to be honest. Just they really didn't have many items, but that's kind of all, you know, it's just a very small place. It's all part of it. So I don't say that, you know, overly negatively. I just say that very honestly. So if I, not if, but when I go to another Indian buffet, I'd love to be able to try even more Indian items and more Indian options and foods. Um, but that, everybody, thanks again for watching. I'll let you enjoy the rest of the video. And definitely get yourself some Indian food.